Hello, it's Mad Science Channel and today we will show you the project we have been working on for the last month. Let's go! The video is an informative one and doesn't call for violence. The video demonstrates the features of keeping insects at home. Once we accidentally remembered about the so-called unfarms and we came up with an idea that it would be nice to slightly change its concept and adapt on farm to the content of cockroaches. We use the leather as food for our insectivorous pets, so they are almost always needed. Instead of reworking existing solutions, we decided to do everything ourselves from scratch. The first step was to develop a model of the future farm on a computer. Further, the project was transferred to a company specializing in the manufacture of various plywood products. As a result, we had as many as 111 parts on hand. Before you start assembling the cockroach farm, you need to treat the parts with a special liquid that will fill the pores on the surface of the material and make it smoother. Then, when the parts were dry, we applied a layer of primer to them. When the details were dry, we covered them with white enamel. In total, we needed about a liter of paint. It turned out that the longest procedure was the process of drying parts after each step. About half of the time was spent on drying. While the parts were drying, we continued to work on the future cockroach farm. In particular, we designed and ordered the production of plexiglass parts. They will allow you to observe what is happening inside. We also decided to add RGB lighting. We used epoxy glide to connect all the parts. For our purpose, it came up almost perfectly. However, epoxy glide has one drawback. It hardens very quickly. To assemble the farm, we needed about 10 tubes of glass. In general, along with painting, we needed about 200 gloves and a pair of respirators. Still, it is extremely important to observe safety rules during such work. These are the windows we glide into most of the details. Friends, we are trying to make interesting and high-quality content for you. And now you can support us on Patreon. In addition, there you will find exclusive videos and other materials that for one reason or another we could not post on YouTube. Later you can also take part in creation you contend with us. The link is in the description. These things will be the walls of the library. We paint one of the sides of such parts in metallic color to ensure better reflection of light inside the truss. Thus, the light will hit directly into these windows. When the small parts are prepared and sent to dry, it's time to move on to assembling the main part of the farm, its body. Its components were also previously coated with filler, primer and acrylic paint. During the gline of parts, a special clamp would be very useful to us, but at that moment it was not at hand. We had to do the work without it. After everything was dry, it was time to paint. We choose this color. Previously we made a 3D model of our farm, and saw how it would look in one color scheme or another. Out of several options, we decided to focus on what you see on the screen. Often painting our farm looks completely different. In the middle of the farm, we placed a partition with four exits. They connect labyrinths where cockroaches can hide and the arena. The bottom of the arena is covered with a special paste, which, when dried, imitates scent and it is very convenient for insects to move on such a surface. We decided to leave the part of the farm where the labyrinth will be located wide. Of course, in the arena special plugs should be provided through which it will be possible to watch how cockroaches run out onto it. Before installing the details of the maze, we applied its drone inside the truss to simplify the installation of the RGB tape. The black light is controlled by a special controller that connects to a smartphone via Wi-Fi. Further in the application, you can select different glow effects and lighting color. 
We selected the drill diameter so that the hole was sized to match the power supply adapter. The biggest difficulty we faced at this stage is the installation of the RGB tape. First, it was necessary to cut it into pieces and then solder it together. There are four contacts on each piece of tape. One of them is responsible for power supply. The others, respectively, are marked with the letters RGB. To eliminate the possibility of incorrect installation, colored wires are used to connect the tape. Most of the cables will be on the bottom. They are fed to the RGB tape through pre-made holes. To install the tape, we needed a lot of appropriate wires and without a special tool, the process treatment to take a long time. It's good that it was at our fingertips. This has greatly accelerated the installation of RGB tape. To be honest, we cannot be called professionals in this business, but in the end we successfully coped with the task. Next, we installed the plexiglass pieces on the truss cover. There was still a lot of work ahead of us. Finally, the process was completed. You see the result on the screen. Of course, this cockroach farm doesn't claim to be ideal. In some places, small flaws are noticeable, and some decisions could be have been made more successful. However, for the first project of this kind, we think it worked out quite well. Moreover, we were in a hurry to finish everything and show you the farm as soon as possible. In the future, we plan to make a plastic farm. It will be more accurate. We will also take into account the difficulties and problems that we encountered in the process of implementing the curing project, so as not to repeat mistakes and to do everything much better. In particular, inside the farm, we would like to recreate the layout of a large city with high-rise buildings. The upper frame of the truss is painted with luminescent paint. It will glow under ultraviolet light as well. A large number of holes have been made in the window above the labyrinth to ensure good ventilation of the farm. Cockroaches give off a lot of heat and without perforating the lid, the condensation could be caught underneath. The arena has a convenient cover and an automatic drinker. As you can see, the design of our farm is thought out to the smallest detail. The farm is divided into two parts, the arena and the labyrinth. The latter are intended to house cockroaches. There are four exits from the labyrinth to the arena. It will not be safe for cockroaches to be in the arena because the farm is designed not only for keeping cockroaches, but also for feeding carnivorous insectivores, which we have more than enough. This bottle contains about 500 cockroaches. In total, in the farm, we will settle about a thousand. Along the way, we slightly modified our farm, but did not include it in the video, since it was already quite long. In general, we hope you like this topic and if so, be sure to support the video and give it a like. And we will try to develop and implement a project to create a new farm, more accurate and with various interesting solutions to surprise you. If you want to continue this section, then write the word WANT in the comments. In general, taking into account all costs including travel for materials, the implementation of the project to create a farm costs us about $200. In the future, we plan to revise the budget in order to use it more efficiently and reduce costs. Immediately after settling for about an hour, the cockroaches felt uneasy in their new place of residence, which affected their behavior. However, the very next day they have completely mastered and settled down. See how confidently they move through the maze and arena. An automatic drinker to watch cockroaches run to quench their thirst turned out to be very handy. 
Now it's time for our independent expert to check the cockroach farm. This is an African hedgehog that loves large cockroaches. At the same time, he pays practically no attention to small ones, while he immediately tries to catch large insects. In the process of observing the behavior of the African hedgehog, we got the idea that in the future we could try to settle two species of cockroaches, which differ in size in the farm at once, having checked whether they can get along together. By the way, as I mentioned earlier, this farm was also planning as a place for feeding carnivorous insectivores. Write in the comments which of them you would like to see in this farm during their hunt for cockroaches. We will choose the best options and try to put it into practice. And that's all for today. If you are interested, do not forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel, share videos with your friends and press the bell, so as not to miss new episodes. It was Mad Science Channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon.